What's up, guys? Uh, no Fortnite content today, uh, because, you know, who knows, maybe some of you guys do like seeing my face uh, with the game room behind me talking about stuff. Um, today was uh, mostly boring. Did a lot of adulting today. Uh, paid all my bills for the month of May. Uh, got my shit sorted out with Verizon, uh, surprisingly enough. Um, ended up working out better than I thought it was going to. Um, got a credit on this most recent bill, which is fucking awesome. And then I got uh, my plan adjusted. Uh, and it's going to be about 30 bucks cheaper. So I'm very, very okay with that. Uh, that was probably the really the only time I've ever had a good experience talking to Verizon customer service and it was really good um, and uh, it was so good I stayed on the line to talk to that person's supervisor to tell them how good of a job they did so um, I was very impressed uh, I also had to uh, re-sign up for some health insurance today um, because I don't want to get dinged on my taxes for not having it uh, and it's been two months, so I had to uh, go through eolhealthcare.gov, and boy, let me tell you, that shit's stupid. Um, it's fairly intuitive, um, but it's just, uh, I don't know. I, I understand why it works the way it works, I just didn't like it, I guess is the easiest way to put it. Um, and yeah, that was uh, a good hour of my day today, uh, spending doing all of that, trying to make sure that I did it right, because uh, I didn't actually know this, but today was the last day that I could do it, um, because it's been 60 days since I uh, lost coverage, um, and I think the way it was set up, it would have started on the first anyways. But I thought that, like, the second I signed up, it was going to be like, well, we're starting your insurance. And I didn't want to, you know, basically I was trying to not have to pay for it for the longest time possible. So, uh, yeah, that was interesting. Um, but other than that, uh, really, um, uh, the only important thing that we did today is uh, fucking uh, watch Westworld. Uh, the second episode. Uh, we didn't get to see it yesterday because we were watching uh, Infinity War, so we watched it today. Um, and I guess I'll put a time skip right here for people who want to just skip to Westworld and not hear about my day, which is probably no one, but, you know, maybe there is somebody. Uh, so yeah, second episode of Westworld uh, called Reunion, uh, which is interesting um, because... I feel like it was a reunion on a couple of different levels, uh, uh, like metatextually. So, like for instance, um, it was the care. It was like the viewers' reunion. Oh, before I say anything else, spoilers ahead for Westworld episode two. Hopefully, that was apparent by the fact that I was about to jump into balls deep into some fucking uh, discussion about it. But if it wasn't, spoilers ahead. Um, so yeah, it was the, uh, viewers reunion, um, to, uh, the character of Logan, uh, was the one that sort of stood out to me the most in the fact that in season one, uh, he kind of was presumed dead, right? And so you initially see that flashback scene showing how Logan kind of got, uh, introduced to, uh, the idea of hosts and, uh, you know, the Westworld, um, sort of uh in the beginning and then you see him again at his father's uh resignation and william's sort of ascension to head of delos uh and he actually i assume that was some sort of drugs he was taking like those shots in his arm i wasn't really sure uh what that was trying to convey but i can only presume that it's drugs um so just uh you know just like a hey you know this character is alive um, an interesting reunion of sorts was Maeve and, um, uh, Dolores, uh, where upon, uh, you really have to wonder for a second, right? Um, because Maeve has the ability to control the hosts. She was unlocked basically admin powers. So when she's talking to Dolores and she's like, move ahead, you guys will let us go freely, won't you? 
you have to wonder if she was sort of subtly controlling, you know, Teddy and Dolores, or if Dolores and Maeve are both uh, sort of acting on their own free will and have attained, uh, attained sentience just in a different manner. Like, Maeve has become completely self-aware at this point um, through her sort of uh, experiences that she's had. Um, well, I would actually, hmm, I just, I'm going to contradict myself, I guess, because they actually did sort of take a similar route. Uh, you'd really only have a, because they both sort of, uh, through their programming, uh, achieved a certain level of self-awareness, and then through experiences have gained more self-awareness. Uh, you can really only say that there was a difference if you ascribe to the, like, the theory that Dolores is all part of um, Robert's master plan. Like, this is all still programmed. Um, whereas Maeve, because we know that she did deviate from her programming since she was supposed to go to the mainland, um, has sort of now obtained, like, a true sentience, if you will. Um, there was also a reunion between uh, the man in black, Old William, and Lawrence. Um, the scene in Pariah, where they're, like, uh, trying to recruit all these, uh, people to help them get to where they need to go, uh, and all of the people turn their guns on themselves, and he goes, you have to go this alone, William, and they all just blow themselves away, I thought was really, really, really well done. Um, I think that it's fairly obvious that, um you know, uh, Delos was, you know, doing, like, data mining on its, uh, consumers, um, and on its customers, and, um, they were, I mean, it seems pretty obvious to me that they're cloning people, um, I do think that given the indications that there were in the episode, uh, that Abernathy holds, uh, the, the dad Delos, uh, Logan's dad, I think that he holds his, uh, some sort of memory storage. That's what their insurance policy is, is the fact that, uh, they hold some sort of memory storage for, um, for that, uh, God, why can't I remember his name? Papa Delos? There we go. Uh, they hold, he holds some sort of memory storage. This is backed up by the fact that him seeing a picture of, like, that old picture that William had when it was buried in the sand in the first season, when, uh, Abernathy sees that picture, um, he sort of like starts to lose it. And I think that's because he's, you know, somewhere in his code base, he is, you know, uh, Papa Delos, which also leads me to, uh, you know, think about, you know, blurring the line between who is a host and who is real and how many people have been like backed up through hosts, um, and aren't like real people anymore. Um, as well as, you know, the, uh, you know, whatever William shows Dolores, you know, um, he says, you know, do you want to see what this, you know, park is really all about? Um, and then that's where Dolores is headed. I also presume that's where uh, William, Man in Black, is headed because he said, it, you know, it's his greatest mistake. And then it cuts to Dolores and she says, you know, a friend foolishly showed me this. Um, I think that's some sort of like cloning lab or some sort of um, place where uh, they house all of that data. Um, I also think there was a scene in uh, one of the trailers where uh, Charlotte is standing next to a whole bunch of Bernards. And I think that instead of them assuming that Bernard is a host, um, they're going to assume that Bernard knew about the cloning procedures and knew about sort of this uh, underworld of what Delos was doing with their customer's data, basically, uh, which is, like, oddly on point for, you know, current events, but I think that they're going to assume that Bernard knew that, and he just created copies and backups of himself, rather than them think that that Bernard is Arnold, um, or rather, that Bernard is the host, or whatever. Arnold is the host. It'll be very interesting to see uh, how the rest of this season plays out. I think that's it. Um, if you guys have any uh, any theories, any comments, any insight into Westworld, let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to chat with people about it. Uh, if you like these videos, uh, make sure to uh, drop a like. And uh, if you want to see me do more, let me know. Drop a comment. Tell me that uh, this is some stuff that you like. If you don't like it, 
drop me a comment too. Uh, maybe I won't, you know, do recaps for every episode. Maybe I'll just do every couple, or maybe I'll do one at the end of the season. Um, you know, want to definitely see what you guys like and uh, see, uh, you know, kind of what's sticking. Uh, so I will catch you guys tomorrow.